camp here and I took all the covers off of the vents, which was interesting because some of them, they've been caught down on top of the frame uh, over the years as they've been, I guess, resealed, which was fine. There was a lot of pine straw and trash and stuff in there blew off. And then I cleaned out the gutter all the way down and took the shroud off the uh, air conditioner so I could blow out a little bit of pine straw and dust and stuff in there. And now I'm getting ready to clean with just some Dawn and this brush the roof real good. So I get a nice clean surface so we can put a new surface over top of it. Some of the white from this uh, old ETM rubber roof is coming off a little bit too, which is expected. It's uh, the case was built at the end of 2005, or 2005, I think, so it's over 12 years old for a roof. Probably pretty good. Um, anyway, I scrubbed it lightly, got the loose stuff off, now I'm rinsing it really good. I want everything off of this roof that's at all loose or dusty, so I can put a new cover over top of everything. And that's what I'm doing now. got off the roof I scrubbed everything with just Dawn and water and tried to clean it up a bit uh, I have a couple of places up there that I do not like the looks of the roof there's an old repair around a vent that is leaking a little bit and there's a repair above the bathroom which is right there I think you can see where the roof line changes slightly that's some uh, where they cut it out did a repair and put uh, seam tape over it. I'm going to try and get a piece of aluminum flashing and shape it to cover that up. Then I will put new repair tape on it and then paint over it with the new EPDM liquid rubber roof. Uh, I will show that to you later. One of the things I was going to work on is right here. I showed it from below earlier, but it may have been hard to see. Um, here is the curve of where the flat part of the roof meets the edge and goes into the little gutter channel down the side. At some point in the past there was a repair made and they cut out whatever is underneath here which I assume is aluminum and put tape over it and that was it. And from below you can see it, it's ugly and Emily doesn't like it and I'm going to try and improve it since we're going to recoat the roof anyway so I bought some white painted aluminum flashing from Lowe's just now. I'm going to try to match this curve and make a piece that will cover this up. Then I'm going to put seam tape on it and paint over it when we paint over everything else. So that's what I will be working on for the next little bit and I thought I would just try to remember to take video first. As it so happens I was looking for something with the correct shape and curve that matches the camper and voila this grill happens to be just right you see it fits this is actually the right spacing that I need this way and the right curve this way uh, where I bent it on the other thing though you can see it's rather bumpy I think you can see where it's rather bumpy so what I'll be doing now is taking this mallet with the white non marring tip on it I'm going to pound out these curves. So let me see if I can get this to work. And again, I apologize. I also do not do a lot of camera work. If you can see that crease there, I'm going to... Okay, I'm trying to do better with the filming. And I'm trying to remember which way to hold the camera. And I figured the best way to do it is just to practice. So hopefully this will all be edited out and you'll never see it. Um, 
here I am going up the ladder with the piece of aluminum I just cut and trimmed and we'll take a look and see how it fits on the edge of the roof where I need to do the repair. And because I'm lazy to start and stop the camera lot, I'm going to leave it running so you guys can have action shots. Up the ladder, up the ladder, don't fall off the ladder, people will watch. I'm sure that would be entertaining. Okay, here we go. Back on the roof. And let's see. Here is the repair area. Again, I think with the lighting here, you can kind of better see how the roof line here gets rather ugly, bumpy, wavy because this is just a flat piece of repair tape down in there. So, here is my new edge that we just formed and it's going to fit like that and hopefully be a much better looking piece. I'm still going to caulk it down here on the bottom where it meets the lip of the gutter and put seam tape over the whole thing so it's nice and solidly secure. More to come. Here is my roof repair. So, the bright white is this seam tape that I cut and put over top of the aluminum flashing that I curved to this shape. So, looking down the length of the camper now, it's got a much better look. It still stands out, of course, because this tape is on here and is thicker and it's slightly different color than this old stuff. But I'm about to try to resurface the entire camper anyway with brand new white roofing rubber that will cover everything and this will all be the same color so hopefully that will look much more blended in but I am thrilled with this as compared to what was here before okay so I taped off the roof you can kind of see looking over the edge here I'm coming from the gutter around the front of the fiberglass, leaving the entire seam tape that was there originally in place so I can paint over it all to the other gutter on the other side. I'm going to paint the entire roof, all of this, all the way back to the back of the camper. And again, this is a 34-foot Sunnybrook, and here is the tape I put on this end to be the end on this side. And on the edges, there's the seam and the gutter that goes down the full length of the camper. I'm going to paint right to the bottom of the gutter. You can go all the way around. Should be fine. So, I'm gonna blow this roof off quick and then go down and mix up the uh, polymer type roof and bring it up here. This is the product we have. It's a rubber roofing material. We mix up this catalyst with the material for a few minutes and then we've got several hours to brush or roll or squeegee the material out on the roof. I'm going to roll and paintbrush it and hopefully this will go well. This is the product we're using. This is Liquid Roof by ProGuard. The instructions say to take this um, catalyst put in four gallons of the material which it came like that. We're supposed to mix it up for two to three minutes until it's uniformly mixed and then we've got a few hours to spread it. I'm going to take some in this little bucket and paint all the seams and edges with a brush and then as per the instructions I'm going to dump the rest on the roof in little sections and roll it up.
so I'm running out of daylight fairly quickly here. I got about another hour, which should be plenty, but uh, doing all this trim work took forever. I was being real thick and getting in all the joints, and you can kind of see how everything is looking. And right over here is where I stuck my foot in it while I was laying on the ground painting under the air conditioner. But now that this is all done, I am dumping from this large bucket right on the roof and rolling it out and it looks like that. So, I uh, ran out of product on the first four gallon jug. This is what it looks like so far. Uh, looks pretty good, couple bubble spots that are still kind of working themselves out and got a little lumpy here at the end where I think there was some dried material maybe on the side of the bucket that dumped out but it's just going to be extra thick and uh, if anything make it stronger in that area just not overly uh, beautiful if this were a patio I'd worry about it on the roof where I want it thick it'll be fine so I've got to mix it some more you see the rest of the roof here I estimate I need about another two gallons and I have four so I'm gonna go do that bye